Great Depression and he was just like went out of business? Well, they they didn't say that, but it did look like that after World, World War II, that's when it was like, you know, that's just, it doesn't seem that long ago, but no. they said that's when it really got popular. And I guess it's because probably what you were saying, you know, there's, they had other, they had real problems Yeah. before that. <laughs> so, and they really did. So it was sold in, in packages of flat sheets, water marked with the inventor's name. So even back then they were advertising to people. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the original advertisement, speaking of advertisements, for the product used the tagline, the greatest necessity of the age, Gaetti's medicated paper for the water closet. Refinement. That's what they call it, the water closet? Yeah. Huh. Well, they, they have that a lot now. Like I noticed when we go in, like if you go to a restaurant or establishment, sometimes it says WC on the. It stands for waters, water closet? Yeah, water closet. Never knew that. Yeah. Why? So I have no idea. Okay. That's, you know, this is, as this as is just as my as observation. As WC as water toilet closet. Refinement of the quality of toilet paper has changed quite a bit over the years. And as late as 1930s, a selling point of the Northern Tissue Company, which, which, you know. Quilted, know, quilted Northern? Yeah. Okay. Was the, was that their tea, their toilet paper was splinter free. Oh. It's very, very so luxurious. Very important. Right, right. Uh, widespread adoption of the flush toilet increased the use of toilet paper since heavier paper caused clogs. Yeah. Obviously, that's kind of what I was talking about before. Two-ply toilet paper. Jennifer brought this up earlier. It was introduced in Britain in 1942 by St. Andrew Mills in Waltz, you, Andrew. Stow. Waltz Stow. The yeah. episode. Remember when I accidentally bought single-ply toilet paper and I had to send an apology note to everyone yeah, in the that house. Was, that was ridiculous. <laughs> we really we really have was, nice problems these days. But right. Yeah. It was like a complete accident. Yeah. That was that was rough. Right. Get it? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do get it. Uh that okay, so when I read when I was reading about the two ply, you know, people either love the office show or they hate the office show. Love the office. But I love it. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite scenes is when Dwight takes over the office building as a landlord and he's trying to figure out how to make save money. And they they somebody opens a door, one of the doors in the office, and his brother Moe's is deep <laughs> deep plying two ply toilet paper. I remember that into one ply toilet That's paper. That's great. So that he could save money. Anyways, right. that just made me think of that. That was in like the later seasons, right? Michael wasn't on the show anymore. I it was later. I don't remember when I think, exactly. I think so because I think he got fired from office manager after that. Oh, wait, he was landlord. I don't remember. Yeah, okay. some some one of the seasons though. Right, it, it exists. Uh, wet wipes. Oh yeah. You know, I'm. You can see the chronologic. Yeah. Thing going on here. People wet, got more fancy. Yeah. Got more bougie. Wet wipes were first introduced in the United Kingdom in the 1990s. More than 7 billion rolls of toilet paper are sold yearly in the United States, where an average of 23.6 rolls per capita per year is That's used. Actually